I want to show you a couple of cameras today. Uh, I want to show you some ordinary cameras and also some uh, interesting stereo cameras. So uh, let's talk about them and let's look at them and um, maybe we'll teach you something today. Remember the Viewmasters of uh, Disneyland that your parents had around back in the 1950s? This is a Viewmaster camera called the Viewmaster Personal Stereo Camera. It uses ordinary film. It has two lenses for stereo. There were a couple of other stereo formats too. This is the so-called uh, stereo realist format, which uh, produced almost uh, 35 millimeter slide light photos. There's a little plastic door that closes. And there was another classic camera, which is actually a very good camera from the 1950s. This is the Kodak stereo camera, which again uses what they call the stereo realist format. This is a really nice camera. Probably the most popular cameras of the 1930s and 40s were inexpensive box cameras. Uh, this is actually kind of a deluxe camera with a Zeiss German-made lens called a Box Tingor. And this is um, the California Bear box camera. See the uh, California Bear on the front? Very simple cameras. You see these in the movies a lot. This is a uh, press camera, in this case a uh, so-called speed graphic. This is what uh, they use a lot of these in the movie Chicago. Uh, it's kind of a trendy camera right now. It's extremely heavy. It uses plates that actually uh, fit in the back. It's, uh, it's a really nice camera, a press camera. Back in the 60s and 70s, even the 80s, part of the 90s, if you ever attended a wedding, you probably uh, saw the wedding photographer with one of these so-called twin lens reflex. This is uh, a roll of flex. They're fairly expensive and somewhat collectible. And uh, this is a roll of cord, which is kind of like a low budget brother or sister of the roll of flex. These use 120 film. It's all available today. The quality is good, but um, of course, digital killed everything. Probably the most recognizable brand, and as a matter of fact, the very first 35 millimeter camera, a German camera made by Leica, which stands for Leica Lights Camera. Um, German camera, this is a, one from the 1950s. They've changed a little bit over the years. The quality is still quite good. Again, film, if you like film. And finally, there was uh, life before videotape cameras. This is an eight millimeter camera from the 1950s, very popular camera. This is a high-end version of the home eight millimeter film camera. This is a Bolex made in Switzerland with a really nice zoom lens on it. It probably still works. It's probably still quite good, but you can't really get Super 8 processed these days. Finally, today's quiz question, was there a format that was instant like today's digital still cameras? The answer, yes, this one. This is Polaroid Land Camera. This is the very first Polaroid uh, Model Zero from the uh, 50s. Uh, this camera actually took a picture and 60 seconds later you pulled it out of the back. It had the developing chemicals right in with the film pack and you had an instant picture. Not much you could do with it, but um, did a good job back in those days. And those are cameras today.